Hello there and welcome to AS Further Maths. Here we're looking at the shortest distance between a point and a line. So we can answer questions from exercise 9F. This is part one of a series of videos that looks at exercise 9F, breaking them down into their shorter, smaller components. Okay, let's have a look at how we would do this. And first of all, I suppose the best thing to do to start off with, with any of these uh, really vector questions, is to draw yourself a nice diagram. You have a point, you have a line, and you would like to find the shortest distance between that point and that line. Now just a little bit of uh, information you need to know about this shortest distance line is that the shortest distance line will meet the line that you're trying to find the shortest distance to at a right angle. Any other angle you could just use a Pythagoras theorem to work out that there is a shortest distance um, where your other um, side was a hypotenuse compared to that shorter side on the right angle triangle. So it's definitely going to be at a right angle this distance uh, to the line. OK, let's go through a question then. The line L has equation x minus 1 equals y minus 1 over minus 2 uh, equals x plus 3 over minus 1. The point A has coordinates 1, 2, minus 1. Find the shortest distance between A and L. And then part B is find a Cartesian equation of the line that is perpendicular to L and passes through A. So it's basically the equation of that shortest distance line. So here we are. We have our diagram again. A is this point here, 1, 2, minus 1. The line is this line here. We've uh, changed the Cartesian form into a vector form. And what that means is that this point here, this point here is going to be the point that will provide the shortest distance, and it will be somewhere along this line. We don't quite know what this coordinate is yet, but we know that it's somewhere along the line, so it must have the coordinate 1 plus 2 lambda, 1 minus 2 lambda, and minus 3 minus lambda for a certain value of lambda that will give you the shortest distance. And we've just created this coordinate p from the equation of the line. You can see all of the, all the information there is stored in all this information in the coordinate. So what we're looking to find now is the direction vector of the line from A to P. And we do that by doing coordinate P take away coordinate A. So let's go ahead and do that then. It's coordinate P take away coordinate A. And there we get 2 lambda minus 1 minus 2 lambda minus 2 minus lambda. So that's the direction vector from A to P. Now we have to use the bit of maths that that direction vector will be perpendicular to the line. So if we know that these two lines are going to be perpendicular to each other, from the dot product, we know that they're going to equal zero when we dot them as a dot product. The two direction vectors will equal zero. So you're just going to take this direction vector as the second uh, of your two vectors to dot product and the whole of that vector there. And then when you do this, do the dot product and expand the brackets and then work out what lambda is and lambda will equal minus 4 over 9. So what you can now do is work out the coordinate p, work out how to get from a to p, and then that's your shortest distance. But actually you've got this bit of information here, the direction to get from a to p, so you could actually just put lambda is minus 4 over 9 into this vector here, uh, and that will give you the distance from a to p. So let's go ahead and do that then. So we have the direction vector from A to P is this thing up here. Lambda is minus 4 over 9. So let's go ahead and plug that in. We get that vector there. And use Pythagoras' theorem on this. And we get the magnitude from A to P is root 29 over 3. So there we are. That's the answer to this question here. It's root 29 over 3. OK, so let's move on to part B then. Find the Cartesian equation of the line that is perpendicular to L and passes through A. So for a line that passes through A and uh, is this equation of the line here, we need a starting point and we need a direction of travel. The direction of travel will be from A to P in that direction when lambda is minus 4 over 9. So if we plug lambda is minus 4 over 9 into AP, then it will give us this vector here. So it's going to be r equals the starting point of 1, 2, minus 1, plus lambda lots of the direction from a to p, which is this vector here. Now we can always simplify a direction vector as long as we multiply all three components by the same value. It won't change the direction of its travel, but, um, but it will simplify the numbers. 
and it will be r equals 1, 2, minus 1, plus lambda lots of 8, 1, 14. And it wants us to write the Cartesian equation of this line here, so we best write it in Cartesian form. So it's going to be x minus 1 over 8 equals y minus 2 over 1, effectively, equals x plus 1 over 14. Right, so it's your turn to have a go at a question here then. Pause the video and give this question here a go. Right then, let's get started. Let's start by drawing ourselves a nice diagram. So we're going to have a line and a point. The point is 4, 1, minus 1. And the equation of the line is going to be 3, minus 1, 2, plus lambda, lots of 2, minus 1, minus 1. So what we do first is we label this as coordinate A and this will be coordinate P. You can use whatever letters you want, that's the letters I'm going to use. We want to work out this shortest distance here. Now the first thing we need to do is give a coordinate for P. P is somewhere along this line for some value of lambda and we're not sure yet. But it's definitely going to be somewhere along the line, so it's going to be 3 plus 2 lambda, whatever the lambda value is, and we'll find that later, minus 1 minus lambda and 2 minus lambda. So P is going to have that coordinate there. So the first thing we need to do is how to is work out how to get from A to P. And that's going to be coordinate P minus coordinate A. And then minus 4, 1, minus 1. Be very careful if you double negatives here. Uh, 3 minus 4 is minus 1 plus 2 lambda. Minus 1 minus another 1, that would be minus 2 minus lambda. And 2 minus minus 1, that would be 3 minus lambda. OK, so the next thing to do now is to dot that direction vector from A to P with the direction vector of the line and set it equal to 0 because it's meeting it at a right angle. So it's going to be minus 1 plus 2 lambda, minus 2 minus lambda, and 3 minus lambda dotted with the direction of the line, which is 2, minus 1, minus 1. So let's expand the brackets, and this will equal 0. So it's going to be minus 2 plus 4 lambda uh, plus 2 plus lambda, double negatives there, and then it will be minus 3 plus lambda, and that will equal 0. Let's cancel some bits out. The 2 and the minus 2 will cancel each other out, so we'll get 6 lambda minus 3 equals 0, so lambda is a half. OK, so the next thing to do now is going to be put lambda as a half back into AP. So AP is therefore going to equal 3 plus 2 lots of a half. It's going to be minus 1 minus half. And it's going to be 2 minus a half. So let's simplify that to 3 plus 2 lots of a half, that would be 4, minus 3 over 2, and then it would be um, 3 over 2. And the next thing to do, we're able to work out the magnitude from A to P, and that's by Pythagoras' theorem. So grab your calculator at this point, 4 squared plus minus 3 over 2 squared plus 3 over 2 squared. And bear with me, let me just grab my calculator. Square root 4 squared plus 1.5 squared plus 1.5 squared. And that's going to equal 4.53. So three significant figures there, 4.53. And lovely, there we are. That's the shortest distance from this point to this line. So there we are. Hopefully you found that video helpful there. And uh, I'll see you in uh, the next one.